What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are discussing some uh, NFL draft, you know, media news talk or whatever and the word has come out about a past few weeks ago, I never decided to mention it until now, um, that maybe the Cleveland Browns, because they are the Cleveland Browns, might even go with Mitch Trubisky as their number one overall pick, which is completely absurd in my opinion, but I called it out. I said it in my first mock draft, and I said it in my second mock draft. I believe I said it in my second mock draft, but I know I said it in my first one. That the Cleveland Browns are that dumb. Up, you know, they had 14 picks last year, none of which really panned out to be great, except uh, Emmanuel Ogba. Um, you know, they had they chose like five different receivers, none of them panned out. And so they're pretty bad at drafting players, is what I'm trying to say. I knew that, I know that they could mess this up. They could mess up having the number one overall pick, whether they either try to trade down and try to acquire more picks, which I don't know why you would try, uh, try to acquire more picks, when every year you have a lot of picks and you do nothing with it. So you might as well have quality over quantity and, you know, pick up the best player in the draft and the best player in plenty of drafts if you were in those draft classes in Miles Garrett. But no, you know, they may even, you know, try to pick up Mitch Trubisky or trade down for some more picks, which makes no sense because they have two uh, first-round picks. Uh, and two first-round picks that, you know, one is number one overall, the second one is 12th overall, and, you know, you're really not going to get any closer than that. You're, that's not, you know, anything better than you're going to get. Um, so, you know, I could see them possibly trading up uh, in the draft for Mitch Trubisky, like, because I know the Jets, there's a possibility the Jets could take him. Um, there's a possibility for that, uh, you know, trade up with the 12th pick, their 12th pick. But I actually think Mitch Trubisky could fall to um, number 12. And if they really wanted to go, you know, for a quarterback here, I suggest they just wait to see, you know, wait till they hit 12 and see who's on the board. I guarantee you Mitch Trubisky and, or Deshaun Watson is going to be there. There's not much of a difference between the two. I, I say your 12th pick, you pick up a quarterback there, whether it's Mitch Trubisky or it's Deshaun Watson. But, you know, let me know what you guys think. I think they can screw this up. It, you know, the first name that Roger Goodell calls could be Mitch Trubisky. I would not be surprised whatsoever. Um, I will be just in complete shock of their stupidity, but I still think, you know, if any team is going to screw up in the draft, it's going to be the Cleveland Browns. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. San Francisco fans should be ecstatic right now. Should this be true? You know, I don't believe anything the media says because they, they like to stir up anything they can because everybody's mock draft has Miles Garrett going in number one. So maybe they weren't, you know, they're trying to switch things up. San Francisco fans should be completely ecstatic right now. Should the Cleveland Browns mess up and they take Mitch Trubisky, Miles Garrett will be a perfect, perfect um, complement to their defense. They're coming into a four-three defense. He he would he's gonna be a great four-three out uh, four-three defensive end or three-four outside linebacker. You know they need a defensive end. Uh, should Miles Garrett go number one, then they're going to choose Solomon Thomas, but Miles Garrett is definitely the better option. I'm sure they're going to be very happy and excited to have Miles Garrett on their team, uh, all because of Cleveland screwing up. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think the Cleveland Browns are either going to trade down or pick Mitch Trubisky with the number one overall pick, or do you think they're just going to take Miles Garrett and be smart about it and finally make uh, one of the best draft decisions they've ever done uh, in their franchise and as easy as uh, having the number one overall pick and choosing the best player available, which should be obvious, but, you know, I'm uh, excited to, worry, uh, to, you know, hear what you guys think because there might be some people like me who think they're going to trade down uh, or pick up Mitch Trubisky. We'll see, but I'll see you guys in the next video.